What's up guys? Today we're talking about the five fishing lines that we swear by. Okay, so we get this question a lot. All right, which line do you recommend? Which line is best? Give me a good entry level line. Give me a line that just doesn't do anything great, but just catches crappies. Give me a line, give me a line, give me a line. And I'm always telling people, you know, you gotta think about line a little bit more than that. It's not like a hook. A hook with enough pressure, it'll still penetrate. But with line, a line takes a lot of abuse because you think about setting the hook, it has to stretch. Not strength. It has to handle all these twists and stuff, right? And on top of that, line is abused also. You know, a lot of people leave their lines on the reels and they'll be in direct sunlight. The you know, line can age like that. So uh, when you say line, I say, well, the lines that I like are the best. And the reason for that is I have a lot of experience with this. I have a big group of fishermen that I trust their opinions on also. And all together, we've been fishing, I don't know, 15, 20 years. So, uh, you know, not combined, but, you know, they're the year gaps, you can say. So I trust their opinions. They trust my opinions, right? So when you say you want fishing line, I always ask, what are you trying to do with it? Are you trying to catch crappie? Are you trying to catch stripers? I mean, you trying to you trying to chunk for catfish where you're only going to throw it out 20 yards? Or are you going to go like, I'm trying to hit a 150-yard cast? Lines recommendations are going to be very drastic. It's going to change from left to right to up to down. It's all over the place, right? So in this video, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cover pretty much everything, okay? Everything from cheaper lines, when to use it, what pound test to use, uh, what what size I recommend. Because there are certain sizes of these brands that I don't recommend, okay? So uh, let's just start in my early days, you know? Out in California, so all my California peeps, if you live watching this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, originally from California, uh, Fresno area actually. Grew up there, moved out to Massachusetts, and now we're in Oklahoma. But anyhow, California for us was all about the bluegills, the crappies, the trout, okay? And out there, this was the line that we used. Uh, me, my uncles, Everybody, we use Max, Maxima Ultra Green, and this was the deal, okay? It's a little bit more expensive than what's out there, and it's a little rare too, for believe it or not, but it is the line that is the deal. It works. Not strength is good. Uh, the line diameter is small. It's smaller than what's the average that's out there. So out in California, there's a lot of pressure, right? There's a lot of pressure on the fish. Uh, so you have to downsize your line. So a lot of times when you downsize your lines, some manufacturers don't do a good job at making, you know, real thin lines. But Maxima Ultra Green, it's a good brand. So I recommend 8, 6, and 4. That's the sizes I recommend the Ultra Green. Once you go beyond that, I think it really loses its, like, allure, you know, as to... Don't get me wrong, the 14s, 15s, 16s, and 20s, they're still good, but there are other lines now that are just as good for like half the price so anyways prices on this everything I'm about to show links down below all right so max ultra green for trout for crappies for bluegills even occasional bass if you want to do like you know the drop shot idea but uh, pay attention we're going to talk about that in a bit too because you might not want to go all the way modern you might want to do a braid to floor carpet meter right before we go any further, I need you to do one thing, and that is to click the like and subscribe button, and maybe even the notification button, because we got a couple of videos like this coming down the pipe, and you don't want to miss out, okay? Okay, so from there on out, I mentioned 8 pound and less, go to Ultra Green. What if you're doing 10 and up? 10 and up, oh yeah, that was mono, and this is mono too. This is Berkeley Big Game. This is a line that I think you... The, the general public on this, or general consensus is, is a love and hate relationship. It's either you love it or you hate it. Because it's from Berkeley, okay? It's not an exotic name. It's it's sold everywhere. 
and the reason why I like this uh, this pool, right? It's the big game. It's because if you're gonna be chunking for catfish, oh, let me explain. Chunking is the technique where you get a big rod, big weight, and you put a hook through a big chunk of meat or live bait, and you just chunk it out there, and you set the rod down, and you basically watch it. I mean, drink while you watch it, whatever. Eat sandwiches, you know, that type of stuff. So the line literally lays close to the bottom a lot of its days, a lot of its life, right? We're well, going to need a much bigger line, okay? Because it's got to be pretty abrasion resistant. And this is pretty good, you know? In the uh, Massachusetts days, this is where this this pool of mine really comes in. Uh, still pretty broke, couldn't afford a lot of good equipment, but I, I started using this just because it was cheap. And did a pretty good job, you know, did a pretty good job. Abrasion was pretty good. I ran a lot of the 15 pound, which is this, in the green or the white. I don't, I don't think it really matters. Uh, and 20, and 25, and 30, okay? So, I guess worry about this. Stuff works pretty good. Yeah, you, you do have to learn how to fight the fish a little bit, but there's some good stuff. I mean, for the price, it's pretty good. It's pretty cheap. It's mass produced. It's one of those lines that's just pretty good, okay? You find it everywhere, too. I'll, I'll still show you the link on Amazon, but... It's cheap. I believe it was only seven bucks for this 900 yards spool. Okay, 900 yards for like seven bucks. Okay, I think it was seven bucks. Could be a little less, but it's it's the cheapest of all the stuff I've shown you so far. I think Maxima's tipping the scale about ten bucks for 300 yards. Okay, but this is like ten bucks for 900. All right, the bigger lines. Okay, another good use for this is leader material. Okay, leader material. So, say you're still on the cheap, you don't want to buy the fancy fluorocarbon leaders, right? This makes pretty dang good, you know, a shock absorber, okay? So, we use it still, okay? Hybrid used the 50 pound on his Sooner Lake videos. So, I, I don't know if you remember that, but a couple years back, when we were still using stripers, <sighs> Hybrid Killer, 13 foot surf rod, throwing three ounce lures, 50 pound, big game, okay? Uh, 47 still pushes the 40 right now on all of our dam fishing stuff. So if you watch the dam fishing videos, I'll put links around here somewhere. Uh, he's on 30 pound. Okay, it's a great, it's a great lure. It's a great line. Okay, for leader material. So don't count it out just yet. It's a good line, cheap line, good line. That's it. Period. All right. After that, uh, we went to the uh, striper world. We started doing a lot of, uh, let's say, a lot of top waters, a lot of top waters, right? Started using a lot of braids in the beginning of when the when the braids started coming to the market. There's a lot of them, uh, spider wire, uh, ultra cast, you, you name it. I went on the braid bandwagon for about a year. I got off the bandwagon because there was they were so bad at wind knots, things like that. I left, I came back, came back because of this brand. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Power Pro. Power Pro was the first brand. And if you ask around, you, you will get the same answer across the board. Power Pro was the first brand that was a really good like fishing line. It almost seems like all these other lines were designed for something else. Like like for the textile industry. They got repurposed for fishing. But it felt like Power Pro was developed for the fishermen. So Power Pro is really good. I started off at 20 pound Power Pro and then went to 15 and now I'm on 10. So for me, my favorite size, 10 pound line on my 7 foot rods, throwing, you know, 4 inch topwaters and less, uh, throwing them for stripers, throwing them for white bass, throwing them for bass, you name it. It's, mo it's mainly on spinner rod. So my spinner rods is 10, 15 pound line. Uh, surf rods, 20 to 30. Pound line, and like I said, this is the Power Pro original. Okay, this is the original Power Pro. I've been using this for I don't even know 10 years now. It's great, man. I like the red too. High visibility red. I like that. I don't, for some reason, I think the red's a little stronger too. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But 10 pound line, uh, it's great on spinning rods. Like I said, uh, it casts real far. Uh, the guys that don't know the benefits of braid is if you throw it on a, a spinning rod, your, your spinning rod is kind of limber. It casts out there, so it's a 30-yard cast. So you walk it. For every for, for every inch you pull, it wobbles an inch out there. So you're twitching it, twitching it. Boom, it gets smashed. You set the hook. The hook set 
happens quickly and it happens as strong as as, as hard as you pull it. So hook penetration is really really good. That's the re main reason why we go to braid. And on top of that, braid will outcast mono any day of the week, any day. Uh, it'll easily outcast it by ten to twenty to thirty yards, depending on what you got. So. Uh, I like the small lines because it casts a lot farther. Okay, so that's the main reason why we started throwing Power Pro. Power Pro on all of our surf rods. Every one of our surf rod has Power Pro on it. Um, and it's either going to be original or, and this is the other line, <sighs> number four. Uh, Power Pro is fairly cheap. Forget about the price. Power Pro is fairly cheap. I think it's only about 15 bucks for 150 yards. This, on the other hand, is about thirty-five dollars for one hundred and fifty yards. It's it's fairly expensive. This is the latest and greatest, or you can say upgrade, to the original Power Pro. This is just simply called Power Pro Max Quattro. It looks the same, but it's actually pretty different. Whatever they did in this line, it's a much stronger line, and it's twenty-five percent smaller than the original Power Pro. And there's also a slick eight version of Power Pro, but I don't I don't like that one. I just don't like it. It just doesn't cast very far. It's smooth, but it doesn't cast very far. So if it's not casting far, I don't want it. That's how I, that's how I, actually, that's how I judge all my lines. Okay, uh, for most of them, for for their intended purpose purposes. This is this line's intended purpose, the Max Quattro, for the most part is surf rods. For us, it's surf rods. It's on our uh, 11 footers, 10 footers, 13 footers. Okay, everything's on max quattro. We throw 20 or 30. That's it. I used to throw 55, but I thought that was overkill. And uh, for my uh, my bass rods, I throw 30 and 40 on them. On them, except for my frog rod, I throw 65 or 80 pound on that. So basically, this line, I think it's rated. A, I think it's actually stronger than what is rated, okay? Whereas the original, it's a little bit under what is rated. Let me show you guys. Here it is. Here's the red Power Pro, okay? And I lo like I said, we've I've I've used this line forever. I mean, like going on ten years. I still search for it whenever I can. And when people ask for recommendations, that's what I recommend. The Power Pro Original. I mean, if you're if you're on a budget on Braid, because Braid typically is more expensive, that's the one to go to. Or if it's if you want to try Braid, that's the first Braid you want to get. The Power Pro Original in the red. I don't know why, but I think the red is stronger than all the other colors too. So I like the red. I have less issues with that. And like I said, Power Pro Max Quattro is where you want to be if you want that maximum distance. Uh, we've tried everything. This is the best as of 2019. The best 20-pound line that can launch lures. Okay, so you typically don't want to use this unless if you're in that very, very specific uh, thing you're trying to do. So for us, it's, it's launching lures as far as you can go. This is number one line. Max Quattro, like I said, 20-pound maybe 30 but for all the videos you guys have been watching the last four weeks or so it's all been max pro max quattro uh 20 or 30 pound line okay so anyways that's that's striper fishing that's braid fishing top water fishing that's great but what if you needed something that was you know between braid and mono and you wanted just a higher quality line you know well that's a, there's this thing called fluorocarbon and this is something that I don't think every fisherman's gonna need okay unless if you're a tournament angler i really don't think you need this stuff really because this is the stuff that gives you that little edge but it's so small i don't think most people will even notice it okay so this is fluorocarbon it looks just like mono it is a plastic line okay but it's clear it's almost like glass okay so it stretches a lot less. Same model stretches like 25%. This might stretch 10%, 5 to 10%. So it stretches a lot less. So what does that do for you? Uh, sensitivity. So and also this line sinks and the other all the other lines they tend to float. Okay. This will allow you to get your crankbaits down deeper 
your jerk baits to suspend better, that type of stuff. It's more sensitive, you know. Most weekend anglers don't need that much sensitivity, put it that way. But for the tournament of fishermen where there's money on the line, yeah, you're gonna want this. Um, and for the for all the all the fluorocarbons, like I said, I've, I've settled on this the last two years. This is the like I said, this is the Sunline FC Sniper, twelve pound, ten pound. The entire the entire line of Sniper is good. I've used everything from five all the way up to twenty five. It's it's all good. The line is smaller than the competition, and it's one of the reasons why I like it. Uh, it's got pretty good knot strength and. A lot of times when you backlash this line, the other brands where you get a kink in the line that's so bad. So the line's like that. But if it kinks like that and you try to pull it apart, it basically just pops right there. This line tends to handle those situations better. So like for those moments where uh, it's real windy out and you have to cast into the wind, you get a backlash, that type of stuff. This line survives those backlashes a lot better. Uh, so why, do you, why did I settle on this? Well, I did buy a lot. I bought a bunch of lines I've, I've bought p line i've bought uh the bass pro xps i've bought sunline I, well this is online i bought the uh the basic fluorocarbon and then there's a the fc sniper i've also bought uh uh cigar red label a braze x and the other one and uh it just seemed like you know i like this one better and it wasn't because of advertising like that. I just straight up bought a bunch and I, I've settled on this one. So from now on out, you know, it's pretty much hard to beat. So me and my brother, FC Sniper on all of our bait casters for all the bait, for the fishing stuff. And a lot of times we run uh, either 12 pound or 20 pound. That's our go-tos. It also makes decent uh, fluorocarbon leaders. So if you're doing a drop shot setup, they have it in 7 pound tests. So... It's, it's actually pretty good too. But anyhow, those are the five lines that, from our channel, if these lines can do it, I, I don't know. I don't I don't think we should be doing that type of fishing with this line. These, these, these lines can do it. So we have the gamut covered. Cheap lines, expensive lines. Oh yeah, that, the, the FC Sniper is on the higher end of the fluorocarbon offerings, okay? But, you know, if you look at what's cheap, we got braid. And mono. You can do a lot with this. You can do a lot. You can do you can do like 90% with these two, okay? But you know, if you really wanted to go, you know, super, super small and you needed you know, like I said, sometimes trout are super picky. They don't want to see anything. That's what you want. That's what you want. If you want to go maximum distance every time, that's what you want. That's what you want. If you want to go Super, super awesome crankbait lines, jerkbait lines. And it has to be fluorocarbon because you're in a tournament situation. That one's hard to beat. That's just, it's just hard to beat. Okay, so that's what we use. Those are our top five lines from the last five to six years. And if you watched our other video, the top five reasons why you suck, uh, I'll have that annotated here also. I uh, basically discuss uh, lines and... I discuss uh, a couple ideas and tips about once you get something figured out, you stick with it, okay? Figure that out, like 15 years ago, stuck with it. <sighs> 10 years ago, stuck with it. That's about 10 years ago, stuck with it. <sighs> about two or three years ago, stuck with it. About a year ago, stuck with it. In terms of uh, knots, we have about knots. Okay, so one guy was asking about that. For knots, uh, Palomar or Uni knot. Okay, Palomar or Unis. Palomar or Uni. The San Diego Jam, or what is also called the Improved Clinch Knot. All right, those are the trusted knots on those lines that I truly believe in. You start mixing those knots around, I can't guarantee anything anymore. Okay, so anyway, that's my solution for uh, your line, your lines, you know. So uh, let me know if you guys found this uh, video interesting. Let me know if you have another line that we should maybe try out. Say you know of a line that's just as good, but at 
a tenth of the price, half the price, whatever, or same price, but they just offer a lot more yardage on it. Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure whoever else is uh, watching this video is going to benefit from it. So thank you for sharing. And last but not least, uh, sub to the channel. Click the like button. Click the bell notification button. And we will see you on the next uh, video. All right, guys. See ya. Take care. Tight lines. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching, but stop preloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.